What's up, douches? Wukong is uploading. Oh my god. I beat the rat. And I had to do some um, farming of whatever the fuck. Will, I guess it's called. So I could uh, upgrade my staff. I need more cold iron leaves so I can get the new chest piece. But I'm in the snow region now, chapter 3. Uh, so that's going to be crazy. Horfrey is still calling me and bothering me and all that bullshit. If I don't have some kind of a dating app for her to like bother me on, then she'll just start spamming my phone. Look, I want to explain something because I'm so done with this bullshit. Like even yelling about it on social, I don't even use social media. Yelling about it on social media is just to like, well, it's working enough because over Thanksgiving, she was like yelling at me about how like I was trying to ruin her. And I was like, no, you ruined yourself and you're doing all this bullshit to yourself. And this is the consequences of your actions. And her defense is always that she's pretty, which is a retarded defense. Just like Uchaliki is retarded because she keeps trying to be like, look, I've she keeps like comparing me being mad that a Horfini stole money, some of it from a child, and caused a whole massive mess with like other people doing weird shit. Like Tiffany's on record stalking me. Like my end goal is to have the shit she's already admitted to on record just become public knowledge. I, I'm probably gonna have to hire like two or three lawyers to go through the hoops of all that bullshit. And one of them would be in Korea, but no, like she's guilty and she just will not take responsibility for her own actions, which is why this will not go away. Like if she was just like, fuck, she should have been like, fuck, he's mad. He, he doesn't want his money still. He doesn't want to invest in me and Sue Young's career, which is what all this bullshit really comes down to, right? You wanted to steal some money. You wanted to do some bullshit on a, in, in America, win a Grammy or whatever the fuck. That way you can say, and Sue Young helped. And then Sue Young was going to become an old hag. And now, but now she can't do that. Now she's just going to be a solo artist in Japan. If you would have not been a cunt, if you would have just been like, this is the plan. Me and, me and Sue Young want to do whatever the fuck. It's going to cost X amount of dollars. I would have said, okay, well, let me put some of that in Forex, play some swings, and then you do all that. No, you stole some money and nothing happened, and now you have a shitty reputation. And I don't give a fuck what you think about me because on record, everything is literally her fault. Um, anyway, it's just not public knowledge yet. Anyways, um, what I'm really pissed off about is the fact that like after she stole the money, because Sublime will not, because like Sub, if Sublime says anything wrong, they are on record also of like, what aiding and abetting Horfany, right? Anyways, uh, uh, there's like real life consequences of her bullshit, and I don't really appreciate it. And she literally thought I was gonna be like, oh, you're gonna be in a rap video? Oh, you're, oh, there's some, there's some douchebags involved. You're gonna be on Jimmy Fallon, maybe? She thought I would give a fuck. I don't know, I like, I give a fuck that you stole. If you would have been like, me and Sue Young want to be on Jimmy Fallon, I'd be like, eh, I don't think that's a good investment. Okay, sell me on it. See, the problem is, she's not in control of her own bullshit. And she's broke. And like, anyone who like, actually thinks these people are famous, you can be famous too. You just have to sell out as much as they sell out. Anyways, Black Myth Wukong. The thrust stance, I'm getting good with it, or trying to practice it. It actually reminds me, Tina Song. The girl that I thought Tiffany, well, according to Tiffany, Stephanie, I just like an East Asian face and can't tell anyone apart. But I remember I was like, wow, she looks like Tina Song. And Tina Song, she was a little bit older than me and she smoked cigarettes. And I kept bumming cigarettes off of her. And then one day she got mad at me. So I started smoking menthols and got her to, to bum cigarettes off of me. I was in control then. And I didn't know she was hitting on Now I know that she was hitting on me. I didn't know at the time. Which is why I was like, it's not going to be like Tina Song. I'm going to go for it. But uh, I remember T Tina Song told me some joke. 
at the bowling alley while we were smoking cigarettes and she bummed one of my Newports. I couldn't just smoke Newports. I had to like build up to it. And I was like, my dad used to smoke Newports when he was in the army. I'm going to smoke Newports too. I'm going to put on some camouflage. I'm going to wear my, my Mets hat and smoke Newports just like my dad used to do. And it worked. It totally worked because Tina Song bummed a cigarette off of me and I lit it for her. And she was like, do you know any jokes? And I was like, no, why don't you tell me a joke? And she told me this joke. I think she was Korean because she said that the king, probably the Joseon king, had like a really long, like mile long dong, like cock. And, uh, uh, and he had like a whole bunch of like concubines who would like carry it around for him whenever he went somewhere. And then one day they were like modernizing and building like r railroads or whatever the fuck. And uh, they were crossing and the railroad thing came down like the train's gonna come. But his like cock was like still being moved. And they were like, what do we do? And the concubines were like, quick, start rubbing. Tina Song told me that joke. And I was, I, I started laughing and I was like, have you heard the one about, I should have just started like fooling around with her. Cause like after that, that was when they started like sending me to like, do you have to go to rehab and talk about your feelings with everyone and let these 50 year old ladies who pop pills all day long and chain smoke. They're the, you want to, you, you want to be like them. Uh, that was crazy times. But look, what it comes down to is Horfany and her Horfany friend entourage, they're broke. They pretend that they have money, but they don't. They need money. Instead of asking for money, they committed an international bank fraud, got caught, and they made it everyone else's problem. Then they ran away. Now they're hiding. And... Why do you think Tiffany is is didn't do any of the bullshit she said she was going to do? Because of all this bullshit. Because I'm not making it up. If I was making it up, they would have kicked down my door and all that bullshit instead of P. Diddy. Because if you just leave me the fuck alone, all I do is stack silver and crypto and play video games. And like go boxing and shit like that. And every now and then I'll meet some bitch on Tinder and I'll talk about how I gave her multiple orgasms, which is totally legal and affecting no one. Right? Horfany shows up. Remember 2018? I made a song about you. You didn't see it, so I made another song about you. And then I had to get him down. And then I grabbed her ass. Forever. I don't give a fuck. Seriously, if you would have just said in 2018, Hi, I'm Stephanie. You were wicked drunk. You were so drunk. You don't remember any of this shit, do you? Well, I got I got pictures of it. Ha ha ha. See, ha ha ha. You know what? I'll take you up on your offer. What I want out of all this is after I pop out some babies and we buy, a, I could easily buy a house, but it's just me. So that would be a whole lot, right? Okay. We'll get a house, your little studio, the little cribs and all that bullshit. This is why my punching bag and video game room, you know, and all that bullshit. Once a year, uh, Tiffany put out a song. This is, uh, it's called Labor Pains. It was about the time that blah, 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 blah. And that asshole, you don't want to believe what he did. He got me pregnant. And then all he did was tell me it will be okay. He wasn't going through labor pains like I was. So you could have done all that bullshit. All your stupid little whore fans would be eating that shit. Instead, you're doing, like, selling more makeup. These are my feet. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, we're just fighting. We're just fighting. Just retarded. 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 Well, Su Young said, well, why don't you tell Su Young to shut the fuck up for a change? Su Young said, you cheat. Did it ever occur to you that maybe I even made, because I didn't use Tinder at all. 2018, I met Stephanie. I'm like, damn, I met that super hot Asian bitch in New York City. I live in DC. Well, I'll make it Tinder and I'll send it to New York and maybe I'll run into her again that way. And it, you made a song about, what, Teach Me? 
You're retarded. You're so retarded. That's my official statement.